How was the set life with the crew yesterday on the red carpet? I noticed that you greet everyone mm -hmm. uh, with the same gesture. I don't know if it was born after the movie, maybe it's something like that. No? Oh man, that I think that's something. Firstly, that was developed by, by Chadwick. Um, ah, okay. And it actually means some. It, uh -huh. it, it has yeah, depth and meaning to it. Yeah. So it's not just a, like a made up kind of like, let's make up something. It, it means something. It, 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 I have to really sit down and talk to him about it, but it comes from something. Um, uh -huh. I think it's like, a, you know, the. Um, What do you call those people? Uh, fraternity. I think one of the oh, fraternity. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like when they step, yeah. the the brothers that step, and they mm -hmm. they have a lot of um, a, a lot of that yeah. in it, and it stems from something else as well. Because oh, um, so he went Howard University. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so, but I think I need to really get clarification on that. So he it came originally from Chadwick, mm -hmm. and that's something that was. Um, intertwined into the Wakandan nation mm -hmm. and the Wakandan attitude on set. Mm -hmm. So everybody just adapted it. So you'd either it like... It was a, um, his idea? His yeah, it was oh, his okay. idea. Um, and it's like a way of just, um, of greeting. Like, mm -hmm. you know, instead of saying hi, we don't mm -hmm. wave and we don't say hi, we just... With a hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so okay. I wish I knew the proper meaning because it's so strong. When he was saying it, I was like, dang. Wow. But I forgot yeah. now. Okay. But yeah, that's how we greet each other. On okay. and off set. Perfect. Both of your character wants to have power, but in two different ways. Yeah. We can say that um, that join you still the love for Wakanda. Mm -hmm. For both of you. We'll say that again. It's the same love in two different ways. Yes. For Wakanda. Yes. It's pride. So. You mm -hmm. mean, every, but we want the best for our country, but in different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, and because of our attitudes and our experiences, it manifests differently. Mm -hmm. So my character, it takes, you know, because of the pain that he's had mm -hmm. in his life and what he's been through. And Shuri is, it, it takes on, I can't speak to you, but it takes on a diff, different mm -hmm. form. Mm -hmm. But it stems from like, we want the best for Wakanda, but we just have different ways of seeing it. Yeah. And I think all the characters have have pride. It's the same. Yeah, have yeah. pride, even Killmonger to an extent, mm -hmm. has a pride, but, but they want to use Wakanda for good, mm -hmm. but their version of good. And that's where it comes, um, that's the conflict is like people's different version of good. Mm. Yeah, they want to show the world uh, what is Wakanda. Yeah, what's know? great. And then, mm -hmm. but then it's like, but that's a problem in society if you open the doors mm -hmm. and that debate and that conflict, because both are right, but it's, you know, it's how do you become to a middle ground? So you filmed Black Panther while the world learned your name thanks to Get Out. Uh, and now you're promoted by Oscar nominated. How does it feel? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's cool. Like, it's, yeah, it's... Um, it's yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool, I mean, to, to have this, to, to have those two, I mean, just away from all that, just to be in two films that I believe in. Mm. Like, you know, this is... Yeah, everything's happening and goes, I want to watch Black Panther, I mm. want to watch Get Out. Yeah. You know, it's the fact yeah. like, so it's that thing where like, to be a part of that as well is another level and then to be, for it to be recognised and then Black Panther to be connecting the way mm -hmm. it connects and breaking the records that it's mm -hmm. breaking, it's just, it, it takes it up another notch, but to keep hold of the fact that I just, I wanted to tell these stories and I thought, and it, it would empower people around me and people that I care about, you know. So you try to, don't think about it. I, can't, I don't think it's healthy to that <laughs> much. I think we just got to keep, keep going. Keep going. Just a quick question for um, Leticia. Yeah. Uh, do you want to be the next Tony Stark, maybe? I, I don't want to be the next Tony Stark, so I just want to be the girl? next Shuri. Iron Girl? Yeah, <laughs> like, no, just Shuri. I just want to be Shuri, but um, the comparison is cool. I love that. Um, but Shuri, Shuri holds her own and, and she's... Because Robert Downey Jr. is of the end of the contract, you know, so... Well, <laughs> you know, he, he's been a fantastic um, part of the Marvel Universe and I'm sure he's going to continue to be in, in whatever capacity. But um, I'm, I'm happy that people find that Shuri's like, you know, similar to him in terms mm -hmm. of her intellect and her, and, her, and her intelligence and all of that great stuff in and you're what's a woman, about her. So he's better. And it's amazing, but Shuri, Shuri, and I'm excited for the world to know Shuri. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.